Hello and welcome to Cry Plays to the Moon. This is an indie RPG made by Freebird Games. And in case you didn't know, Freebird Games are the people who made The Mirror Light, which is a previous RPG that I've done. And well, since I really like that one, I figured I might as well give this one a try as well. So uh, with that said, let's just give it a go. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. Don't just say I was... <laughs> I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's go grab the equipment from the car and move already. Alright. Left click to interact with it. Interesting. I have received the equipment after clicking on a squirrel. I'm fine with it. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Interesting. Right click toggle menu. Ooh. This is quite ingenious, actually. Well done. Alright. Well then, let's go up here. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. <laughs> How thoughtful of you. Very interesting. Alright, well, let's uh let's get going, my friend, with the things. I don't really know what kind of equipment you're holding, but I assume it's good things, right? Who put a boulder here? Probably nature. Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. What? Why? No way. <laughs> Push it by hand, please. All right, on three. One, two, three. It's bouncy. I... I don't even... W what was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Ah, we need to get going for now. We'll... We'll figure that thing out later. Right. Interesting. So, it was a bouncy boulder. Kind of like a bouncy ball that you get from a quarter machine. And that squirrel was flying after itself. That's cool. Okay. So I guess we have to go see a doctor of some sort? We're scientists. That has to be it. Doctor, we're here.
open the door, children. Ma, they aren't here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Night shifts. Love him or hate him. You know the answer, you stupid owl. He is kind of like a bird. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they don't have any coffee. Shut up. Yes, please, good sir. And the ocean's waves will sing lullabies. <laughs> Not through your blathering, you, they won't. And <laughs> don't forget the equipment, moron. Yes, dear. I don't get paid enough for this. Probably only get paid four dollars an hour. Definitely not enough for this. Act one. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. I don't know what that means. I'm okay with it. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh my. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. They're little rascals. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny let us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. Hmm. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. So, Johnny's... dying? Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with insurance claims. All right, uh, click on the back. Received equipment. All right, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Good call. Let's go. My good friend. Yes, please. Okay, they're gone. Whoever there... Wait, wait, whoever gets there first gets to play with the melody. What? Oh, it's the scamps. Oh, no fair, you pushed me. Well, that's a boy, he does these things. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring, the boring two notes anyway. Oh. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of all a small meteorite. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's go. Johnny, we're here. And you're definitely in bed, probably dying. Let me talk to Johnny, or her. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Okay. Um, talk to me, lady. Ready to sit up? Yes, please, this is really heavy. Yes, it'll be just a moment. Oh, 
Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. <laughs> okay. Oh crap. Definitely just dim down the lights. Standard procedure, it's just keeping you on your toes. Oh, Dr. Watts. What the? What is that? How is he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's just got a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. <laughs> oh, Dr. Watson. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just... <laughs> The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? Uh, it depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you just tell us about our clients here? That... I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and... His wife passed away after two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. <laughs> ah, what? Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny would mind, since he's signed for you too. Hmm, so be it. All right, which one of us plays detective? Ooh, all right. Do I want Dr. Watts, the witty punk, or do I want Dr. Rosaline, the spunky lady? Mm -hmm. I'll go with the Dr. Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. <laughs> I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. Eh, kind of is, actually. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. There's nothing really to do around the house, so that's really all they do. All right, let's go talk to these little scamps again. I'm sure they're playing that melody again. Oh, wait. Come back here for a moment. I have something for you. You could have told me that before I left, but all right, fine. Hello, doctor. Here, take this. Received remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for those. <laughs> you witty bastard. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in menu. Okay. Um, where's that monitor? Oh, that thing. There's Johnny. That's pretty fly. I like it. What's down here? Nope. Ugh. I'm sorry, lady, but you're in the way. I'm going. This is the toilet. But they're sparkly things. Oh, it's to turn on the lights. That's pretty sweet. Freaking lights, man. Alright, well, looks like anything suspicious happening, I don't see it currently, so I'll be leaving the toilet for another time. Alright, how about these books? No? Hmm. Okay. Well,. Thank you for your hospitality, but I'm going to go talk to your children now. Yep, definitely going. Get down there, please. Hey, kids. Nice jams. Talk to me. Please. What you want? Show around the house, please. Hey, your ma told you to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe... I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. Oh, ho, they are tyrants. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. 
All right, let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars. <laughs> Tommy, you're ridiculous. I like you. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Uh, what? There's a giant candy cane on top of the high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save us, to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well... <laughs> sure, I'll go get it for you. You're lucky I don't want to walk up the stairs again, or I'll just tell your mother. The kitchen door is, to the, is right next to the stairs. Now go. All right, Sarah, fine. Don't be so bossy. It almost... It's almost like some kind of terrible get quest to get my night started. Yeah, a giant candy cane. That's just something you need to do. All right, so... Um, is it behind here? No. Okay. Is... The kitchen... Where's the kitchen? Oh, is it this thing? This might be the kitchen. Who really knows? There's that candy cane. Um, hmm. I'm too short. Can I move a chair? Oh, this thing too. I, yes, I, I, I definitely know this. Move the... Okay, I can. Good. Get that candy cane, please. Right this instant. Received candy cane. Good work, old sport. Booyah! It's like taking candy from an inanimate baby. <laughs> it's very true. Very much so is. Alright. Children, I have your giant candy cane. Don't fight over it, please. Alright, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds, but... That back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old and tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Hmm. It's got a valid point. All right, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Uh, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. All right. I need to find... Are you following me? I have little minions following me now. Is this the study? This is the book room. Definitely the study. This, the key to the funny room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. Alright. I'm guessing it means these. Which one's thickest? The middle one? Dusklight. The tale of girl who fell in love with a zombie who admitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Beautiful. Read the passage. Uh, maybe next time. Dr. Watts, come on. <laughs> Received room key. The man sure knows where to hide things. Oh, come on. That's a beautiful story. I'd read it all the time. Children, I have the key. Tommy used to throw books at me and call it a book fight. <laughs> That's very dangerous. So one day I threw one back and he needed a band-aid. <laughs> Again dangerous. Um... Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go now, kids. You, you have a good time. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Oh, okay. Come on, party members. This is the basement. We play hide-and-seek here. Turn on the light before you trip or over something. Okay. Yeah, there's a lamp right here. Huh, luckily it turns on that one, too. Okay, where's this funny room, you people? Oh, right there. Of course. There you go. I know, I have the key. There you go. Good. Let's go. It's like a cave in here. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Oh, my. This is a funny room. Um. A platypus? Perry? Huh. What a hideous little creature. <laughs> poke it? I'll poke it. Wow. Take it. Just just take it. There you go. I have stolen a toy platypus from a dying man. 
A rabbit folded out of paper. Oh, these are origami bunnies? What? A broken music box. Well, it looks like our freaking Johnny guy is kind of weird. I guess that's fine. That is a pretty funny room, kids. You're right. Did you see it? What do you kids know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there, either. <laughs> uh, kids. Remind me to never keep any locked cabinets around you, too. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Hmm. I'll go see the lighthouse. I feel like hanging out with these kids a bit more. My co-partner is kind of a jerk. Oh, what the heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. Except a good draft might. Come on, let's kick some butts. <laughs> Why do we gotta kick butts? Whatever, come on, kids. Let's go have fun. Alright, um, this way, kids. Trust me. You're gonna have a great time. I'm gonna show you how to become a real man. Mr. Tommy. There's a bird. Follow the bird! The plan was in the way I couldn't follow it. Alright, um... Is it this way? This is... Oh, this might be the way. Oh, it is. There it is. We need to head south to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Tommy, you don't have a parachute. Don't even pull that on me. You're a child. Who would give you a parachute? Except a really weird parent mind, I guess. Well, his parent is kind of weird, so maybe. All right, so I have to go south to get to the lighthouse. I'll just go this way. Okay. Maybe I'll find that bouncy boulder again. That sounds like a good time. Hanging out with the bouncy boulder. Yeah. I look forward to that. Is it... It's here. There? Oh, it's the bouncy boulder! My novelty beach ball. I thought I... It was a beach ball. <laughs> oh. It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Uh, we don't have... Oh, okay. Okay, done. Right. Now let's just head to the lighthouse. <laughs> okay. Tommy's weird. I like him. Oh. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? That was, uh, Dr. Rosaline. Yeah. Oh, Dr. Rosaline. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Yeah. She's a pretty bad driver. I'm gonna blame her for all of my car accidents from now on. Alright. Oh, a sleeping squirrel. Hello. Ooh, a squirrel. I'm gonna talk to you, squirrel. And touch you. Oh, wow. Battle! <laughs> what the hell? Don't worry, kids. I got this. Could... Could beat up a squirrel? <laughs> Um, attack the squirrel! <laughs> Throw the other shoe! Yelling volume? Loudest! This ends here! Yeah! Stop it! Or will we tell Molly to abuse him? <laughs> yeah, she called the cops on you. Oh, come on, I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role-playing? Aww. <laughs> what? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Daddy. Okay. <laughs> Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. <laughs> oh, great. So, battling squirrels is considered animal abuse. Makes sense. I'm, I'm okay with it.